Hey guys, Jacob Moon from Jacob Moon's Mocks here, and today I have my five subscriber special. So yeah, I recently hit five subscribers. I think it was last week, and I am really happy with that. I, I'm really thankful. So to any of you guys who subscribed, thank you, and let's get started. So go ahead and pull out Wolverine here. Uh, just finished building that guy. So, awesome. And, uh, so here's my minifig for scale with this big thing. Uh, have a bit of an issue here. This is my normal filming stance. I mean, I have my tablet propped up and filming at just about ground level. And, well, the reason you can't really see much is because... This thing is massive. This is, I think, my largest creation. Definitely around the longest of my creations. Um, it's actually, this is a Lego set. Uh, this is a B model for a Lego set. So, a little more obscure. And it is modified to be remote control. This is my modification. Uh, so, did have a little bit of an inspiration by uh, Peepong Daddy, I believe. That's what he. I know I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but that's what it looks like. So, yeah, and I kind of went looked at his design. I kind of I really liked it, so I just went in with my Legos. I went and bought the set. I got the set for Christmas actually. And the um, woman who gave it to me recently passed away. So, I thought, well, why not just do a video on this in, in her memory, alright? So, I hope you enjoy this video. This is going to be a little bit different from my normal style which I've only done two other videos, so I saw it hasn't really been obvious yet. But uh, let's go ahead and go over some of the motors and see what, the, and I'll explain to you what they do. So we'll go ahead and get my minifig out of the way real quick, just for scale. The minifigs can't really get in the seats, driver's seat, so yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So some of the motors we have is an IR receiver, just a V1 version. It doesn't really say V2 on there, so I'm assuming it's a version one. Uh, we have the servo motor there, which is pretty locked in. It's not going anywhere. It's to the point where I can pick it up by that. You can see how it's geared into the uh, old steering mechanism that was right here, which I have now blocked off. Then we have a uh, power switch right here. Just push it in. You can hear it go, or you can pull it out. You can just put it right in the middle, and it automatically shuts it off. We have the remote here, which kind of just stores right there. You can just pop that off, and works pretty good. I just put some leftover pieces from the A model, put them on the sides of there, and I think it looks pretty good. Put that aside. We have an M motor right there. And that's to drive the functions of the propellers and the opening cargo bay in the front. And then we have a large motor for drive. And uh, you can real quick, I'll show you a quick modification I did. I actually added two of these lift arms. Just because I didn't like how it was uneven coming up and coming down. So that fixes that. And if you own this set, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, that's about it for the side. Look at the front. Now, I have tried my best to modify it where it can fit minifigs, but I haven't really been able to do that. Uh, we have lights here, right here, which do turn on. So, not the red and green ones, but the actual headlights. And that's what that 2x2 two two right there is. 
part of the light brick or light pieces. We have a switch here, and I'll sh that activates the light over here. So they're wired together, and nothing around to this side. You can really see the propellers now on this side, and that's about it. We're going to turn this model over, and I'll show you the rest of the. We have the battery box here, which I didn't see if this is connected to that little switch outside there. So that's what, how it turns on. We got the wire wiring right there. One for the P or the IRS receiver, and one for the switch. Uh, then we have the back wheels here, and yes, this thing does have wheels, even though it is a supposed to be a hovercraft. But Lego, I'm guessing Lego just couldn't really make a hovercraft, an actual hover, hovering hovercraft. But, so we have the wheels here and here, the front wheels, and you can see how they're geared up. We got um, one of these, I think they're 24 tooth gear, correct me if I'm wrong. So we have two of these, one here and then one on the inside, which is attached to the motor. You can just barely make it out. And then exactly the same with the steering uh, little. I could put a differential in, but at the time whenever I first built this thing and remote controlled it, that was all I had, so I just went with that. And just about most of it stayed the same. So let's go ahead and go over some of the RC functions. Let's turn it on. We'll grab the remote here. And as you can see, it does drive forward and backwards. And steering actually activates the propellers as well. Uh, I will be showing it on the ground soon enough. So, yeah. Real quick, I wanted to go ahead and show the... So you saw the propellers move. Here, let me show you that one more time. You can see the propellers move. And you can also see this here, this switch, actually activates the other function. Now, they do... It does activate while it's driving. So that's the only issue. Let me see if I can prop my cab up and I'll show you it as it goes up. All right, there you go, and oh, here, I'll hold it up, there you go, and you see it opens top and bottom, and what's inside you might be asking, just something I made in br quick Brooklyn quarter, this is uh, an old 1999 I'm wanting to say, Lego set, uh, and it had it just just really simple. It's got a small little rubber band to connect it to the gears. If you if you guys want, I will do a review on it. But basically, that's it. Uh, I will do a review on it if you guys request it. So. Yeah, and now on the inside of the open spot, sorry about that, that's my case. It's in the way a little bit. But you can just see how it's those two gears line up. And I'm rotating the wheels right now to show you how the gear the gears work. You can see the M motor and the large motor right there. You can just sort of see the little battery box right there. Alright. Now I'm going to do a quick jump cut, and I will be showing you guys how it drives. Alright, here we are in a little testing area, and I'm going to be driving it with my remote here. Alright, I got my sister here, she's holding the camera. And in three, two, one. It does go pretty fast right now. I mean, these are not brand new batteries, but they aren't really old batteries. It can go on carpet, but it doesn't drive as fast on carpet. You can see every time I turn, the propellers themselves turn as well. And they move in the direction I'm turning. I'll go ahead and get off the carpet real quick. It has forward and reverse. And it works pretty good. 
Let's say. It doesn't have the greatest ground clearance. Can you get a quick zoom in on the ground clearance real quick? Right here. Yeah, just bring up the camera all the way down. As low as it can go. But, yeah, I guess the lighting ain't that great. Alright. But it doesn't really have the greatest ground clearance. I would just say maybe about two studs worth max so that's the amount of ground clearance but it does drive pretty well and here is the uh, other feature of it of the cargo doors opening can you go right over there and film it as it comes all right film whenever you're ready Liz I'll come driving it right at you right now And so, and you see it opened almost all the way, and you have the little hovercraft inside it. Hovercraft section. And it does still steer, even with the cargo bays open. The only thing that does not work while the cargo bays are open is the propellers. I'm going to close that up real quick. And one final quick lap. So this, that was the driving. Hey guys, again, I just want to say thank you to my sister for filming that for me. And uh, I just, I forgot to show you one final feature. I, I mentioned it earlier, it's the lights. When, first you have to turn the thing on. And then you rotate it here. And you see that switch there? And it activates the lights. It does look a little weird whenever the the, the uh, switch is sticking out like that, but it doesn't bother me that much. And again, the remote itself can just stick right there, and it can easily be removed just by those two little pegs there. So that's about it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing on my uh, recent videos, and I would definitely want to say go ahead and continue doing that. I really do appreciate it. And so, till next time, or most likely around next week, uh, this has been Jacob Moon with Jacob Moon's Mocks. Yes. See ya.